Hi, this is Marty, and welcome back for another video. All right. Uh, okay, so I, in this video, um, oh, all right. I figure what I need to do is I need to put out an MBTI-like video or mental health video, like, you know, like I do, right? And then every once in a while, I get to reward myself with an economic video. That's what this is. All right. Who this video is for. Um, if you have your Series 7 uh, or you're an insurance financial advisor, all that good stuff, or an accountant, right? Um, yeah, it, it, this video is, is, this video is basically just gonna, um, you're just gonna zone out. Okay. And yeah, probably should want to watch me. Okay. Um, if you, uh, you know, watch the stock market every day, you know, uh, watch the news every day, you know what I mean? But cut to the chase. Um, this is a very heavy video. And chances are I'm going to talk about things that not only have you never heard before, but you won't even understand how I'm even talking about it. Okay? Um, INFJ, introverted intuition, call it whatever you want. For me, the information I'm going to discuss with you in this video, uh, as it relates to what's going on, COVID-19, United States, all that's going on, um, well, let's just get into it and find out. This is unscripted, so uh, you know there might be cuts and things like that. It's because I had to pause or I stuttered so much, um, but I just turned on the camera and go like I do all the others. Um, but this one's really, really heavy. If you have an individual, let's say, uh, you know, it's let's say that's is let's just say it's box A, okay, and box A is sitting with box B, but. These other boxes, A, B, C, D, and E, are not at the meeting. It's just A and B. A, box A, is 30 trillion in debt. B, and I'm going to jump around, and but we'll get, promise. Box B says to box A, wait a minute. If you have a prisoner that is on death row and a guard watching that prisoner, who's in charge? The prisoner. Why isn't it the guard? Because the prisoner is on death row and has nothing to lose. Box A has never felt zero before. Lived on the street with nothing, no food, no nothing. Living in a cardboard box. Box A has never felt that. But this group here, they have. So let's do this. Have felt zero. Box A and B in our meeting, C, D, and E, those three boxes didn't show up for the meeting. Box B says to box A, what are we going to do here? Box A says, about what? Box B replies back and says, we, I, no longer want to help you get into more debt. Service your debt. We're done. Box A says, what are you talking about? This is how it's always been. Work it out. This is the way that it goes. Box B says, not anymore. Box A says, well, fuck are you going to do? Box B says, what the fuck am I going to do? Tomorrow at 12 noon, I am going to dump six trillion blah, blah, blah on the financial markets. Oh, and by the way, so is box C, D, and E. Box A, quite frankly, after finding itself off of the floor, sits back up and says, are you kidding me? And box B says to A, no. We, well, box C, D, E, they couldn't be here, but I represent, trust, I represent them. We, I, are sick and 
fucking tired of your arrogance, you pushing, and everything else that you have been doing for the past hundred fucking years. More, more importantly, over the last 50. We're done. Fuck you. Box A says, oh, really? Oh, re really? And box B says, yes, really. Box A says, taking it a little more seriously now, do you have any idea what you are talking about? And box B says, yes, I, we do, you are now our bitch. Box A says, hmm, not so fast. Box B says, is this conversation going to go anywhere? Are you, are you not listening? Box A says, I control the medium of exchange on planet Earth. Side note, do you know what a medium of exchange is? Watch, quick lesson, medium of exchange. Medium, I gotta write it out, of exchange utility. Medium, object, something, anything you want it to be, of, convert that to a two exchange. Medium of exchange is the economic term for the exchange of one item for another item. But there's a critical piece of that exchange. What is it? It's called utility. Basically what that means is this. Ready? Here we go. I have a nail. I don't have a hammer. But I have Ten. I'm kind of going to give it away, but go with me on the ABCD card. U.S. dollars. I have a nail, no hammer. You have the hammer. I am going to do a medium of exchange with you. I'm going to say to you, do you value the $10 more than you do the hammer. And you say, Pfft. confused. What do you mean value? What? Utility. That's where utility comes. The hammer has a utility, a use. So you, not thinking of the word utility, but you go, $10. I could do a lot with that $10. You say, Absolutely. And you do a medium of exchange with me for the hammer. I now have a hammer that I valued. Here's where it gets a little complicated. The utility, not of the hammer, not of the nail. But the picture hanging on my wall to enjoy. That is what I paid $10 for. The joy of the picture on the wall. But in simple economic terms, the utility of the hammer is what I was paying for. We have our characters. We have A, who's 30 trillion in debt and has never felt on the street. Nothing. We have B, C, D, and E that have felt it. We have B saying to A, this. We're done, and you're our bitch now, and planet Earth is going to change. It's quite that simple. Box A says to Box, this, 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 this happened. This happens. <laughs> it does. So A says, um, yeah, I think you're mistaken. You see, I own the US dollar. And B says, yeah, you do. And the U.S. dollar is sitting on top of $30 trillion in debt. I mean, we're all sitting in debt. We all are. But yours 
is attached to the reserve currency that replaced the gold standard, the U.S. dollar. In 1970, France asked for its gold. The United States owed France money. The United States says, we're not giving your gold. Fuck you. That is when the United States went bankrupt. Basically. No big deal. Happens all the time. But the United States did something amazing. Okay. Do you want to know why Saudi Arabia is so goddamn fucking important? Because Saudi Arabia in 1971, two, three, blah, 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 said to the United States, we would love to only sell our oil in the U.S. dollar. Love it. But you have to buy all your oil from us. And you are our bitch just as much as we are yours. And the United States said, deal. Would you want any other currency except the U.S. dollar? You would, no, I fuck, I want that. I want the U.S. dollar. It's my hometown, it's my currency. I want U.S. dollar, it's gold. It's Demand. Demand for something is what creates its value. Economic 101, supply and demand. The demand for the U.S. dollar is what keeps it there. The U.S. dollar is it. So, foundation. Is that it? Is that a good basket? That's a good basket, okay a basket of all the other currencies. Now, if you really want to study finances, and I'm just going to throw this out there, okay. The World Bank uses something called an SDR. It's called a special drawing, right? But we don't even know about that. Just don't even worry about that, okay? <laughs> Box A is sitting on $30 trillion in debt. Box A is the one who sends all those around the globe. You might be thinking, well, what's the big deal with that? Mm -hmm. It's a very big deal. Very big deal. Because the United States has never seen the street. The United States, you, have never seen the street. Everyone talks about inflation, right? Oh, and, and Peter Schiff, you're an absolute fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking Peter Schiff. I hope you watch it. Okay, you are a piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you, man. All right. Back to the original. Box A and Box B are now in a situation where Box A knows. But what does Box B know that Box A a has. I'll write it right there. Yes, indeedy. So, kind of in a pickle now, all right? All right. You've heard inflation, right? You hear it all the time. Inflation this, inflation that. Oh, my God. Oh, my dear God. I don't know how they did it. Well, I do know how they did it, but I want to say I don't know, but I do. So I'm going to say I don't know. I don't know how they did it, but inflation, they've mastered that fucking thing. Mastered it. What is the one thing that must happen for inflation to exist? First. Closed systems. Closed. Bank. 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 Closed financial systems. Where the individuals who are using the medium of exchange, what's the best thing to use? A piece of paper that when put into a bank, 
looks the same as all the rest. Inflation and deflation. Inflation, money becomes worthless, exists in this market. <laughs> inflation cannot exist if wages cannot increase, period, end of story. Now, how does that relate to a closed system versus an open system? And what I mean by that is this. They are using one type of currency. They are using another. They are using another. They are using, they are using another one. Here, I go to the grocery store. Milk costs me a dollar today. Someone else says, I got it at rate increase. Guy wants to make more money, he raises it to a dollar fifty. The other person says, I don't have a dollar fifty, I have a dollar. Goes back to his boss and says, Hey, I want to raise. And because what they're making, they raise the price. So he says, Sure, I can afford it. And so on and so forth, and so on and so forth. And suddenly, suddenly, at a very unique tipping point, everyone starts to realize that there's too much money inside the closed system, and the people start to realize that it has no value because they go outside the system and are, wait for it, and are re, that it's costing more and more and more and more to buy the items of necessity. Why is that? Because wages are rising. in a system that big, sitting on the foundation of the US dollar and wages decreasing, all you are ever going to have is an accumulation of debt. and bubbles. That's a pin. That's it. What would happen if box B says to A, 12 noon tomorrow, and box A says, do it. Fuck you, box B. Do it. Box B gets up, says, I got nothing to lose. I'm so sick of your fucking shit. Calls up box C, box D, box E, and says, well, we agreed that if box A did not come to the table, box B, C, D, and E, let's say they had the meeting on, I don't know, afternoon, Sunday, Monday morning, first business day, 12 noon, they dump 12, 13 trillion dump it on the market. Guess what happened? Now, here's the interesting thing. Let's think about this for a second. I would probably say by 1205, your credit cards would not work, your bank would shut down, you would not be able to go to the grocery store, and uh, you would want bullets, guns, all your jewelry, everything of value probably within three to five minutes, I would say, probably. You know, if they tried to do, yeah, no, mm -mm, no. Because I know who box B, C, D, and E are. I understand the financial markets. You see, that meeting has been going on for a very, 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 very long time. And because box B, C, and D are also in debt, they are all in the same camp. But truth be told, they are all sitting on the US dollar and they are tired. They're tired of it. And it's come to a point and has been for a very long time. Box A, B, C, and D don't think in terms of weeks or years. They think in terms of 50 and hundreds of years.
clean, right? Okay. Now, one thing I have to do is, remember I said what a piece of shit Peter Schiff is? Would you like to know why? Because he sells fear and the collapse of the dollar. He sells fear that you are going to remember inflation or not even have a clue what it is, like the 70s. The 70s were a completely different animal, completely different period of time. Completely. And I mean night and day. He doesn't say, well, if wages don't go up, there is no inflation because, well, if something costs $10 and you don't have it, you don't have it. And if you can't earn it, inflation isn't going anywhere. Another thing he never says is, as long as all the central banks are working together and they're at the table talking, they're all going to support each other. All financial markets are manipulated. All of them. All of them. The Dow, owned by Box A, we all know Box A is, but I like Box A better, manipulated. Now, I'm not going to get into that because that's a whole other discussion, but it's manipulated. They all are. All financial markets are. Here's something amazingly cool. I wonder how long Box A and B and everyone else have been talking and saying, what are we going to do here? While everyone's still making money at the top. Well, something's got to change. Why? Well, let's see. Bill Gates. He's worth a hundred billion. Is that what it was? So if I step into a room with Bill Gates and Peter Schiff, and I say, hey, Bill, check this out. Peter says that gold is going to go to the moon. Inflation is going to wipe the dollar out. The U.S. economy is going to tank. And basically, every single asset you have that isn't a piece of wood, right? Well, even if it's a house, no one's going to be able to buy it because I'm not going to have any currency to buy it with because the medium of exchange is going to be what? And I say, hey, Bill, how do you feel that Peter Schiff here says that your $100 billion is going to go to fucking dust? <laughs> and you're going to have, be able to do nothing with it. It's going to be like going to Costco. That's what we can do, Bill. We can take all your paper and bundle it up and stick it on shelves and sell it for $4.99 for 500 fucking pages. Because that's what Peter Schiff is saying. That's what you hear when basically someone says, hyperinflation is the greatest transfer of wealth. It's not a transfer of wealth. It's bringing box A. I got you a different color. That would just do B, okay? So they're the same at zero. Do you think that's going to go over well? I mean, seriously, what do you think box A, box B are talking about then? If Box B says, I'm sick of your shit, Box A, I'm fucking tired of it. And so are, so are other boxes. We're all tired of it. The threat is real. And it's been going on for a long, long time. And the only thing that's actually helping, and I agree with it. Hey, I agree with this. I understand exactly what's going on. There's no, there's no conspiracy theories. There's no dominance of control and Illuminati and all of this. No, there's not. This is just reality on planet Earth. I know it. I'm trying to teach it to you because you don't. And you, you well, you either don't know anything or you think you do. You don't. You think you do. Basically, box A and box B say, look, I heard what you said. I know you're not going to do that because if you do what you say you're going to do, we're all going to go to toast. Do we really have to do that? Now we come to the table. Why? Because box A is listening and box A has been listening for a long time. How did this system start? Was it a conspiracy Illuminati to take over the world? No, it wasn't. It was basically just enterprising men who did what they do, know how to make money. And they did it beautifully well. And I mean brilliant. Do I agree with it? Yeah, I do. You want to know why? Because I'm an entrepreneur at heart and I don't see the conspiracy theories bullshit. And I'll, I'm going to say some stuff in this video you're not going to fucking believe. Seriously. 
It's called unintended consequences. So we have a decision that's made, okay? And um, that decision is a straight line down. Because that decision is, well, actually, we're pretty fucking good. Okay, that decision is to make this happen. The problem is, is that when A and B make a decision, what is that? Because they have to go through that. Because this cannot know about that. Cannot. Well, because if you did, you would be like, what the hell? Right? Basically, it's a little more complicated than that, but basically, what is it that happens in here as this decision, this goal of the foundation, unintended consequences? And those are what we live through and the actions that make up our lives are the unintended consequences. How would you feel if box A knocked on your door and says, hey, can I come talk to you for a second? Sure, say. Well, over the last 150 years, this is what I've been doing at a level that you can't even see. You know, you know it as conspiracy theories and blah, 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 but, but this is the, basically the truth, all right? Basically what has to happen is, um, well, how's your life been for the last, hundred years and your mom and dad and your kids and everything pretty good, right? Yeah, no. I'm sorry, it's not going to be that way anymore. You see, because, um, well, because of the financial system that I created and that has been created around the world, there's just too much of an imbalance. You see, box A is right here. We're flying high, aren't you? Pretty good. How many cars you got in the garage? <laughs> Eight. Yeah. How many does you ever have? Oh, they don't do as well as me, but they have three. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. You know anybody who has one car? Fuck that. Mm. Yeah, that's where we kind of need to go. What do you mean by that? Well, basically, there's going to be some changes. And see, see, they're screaming at me. And yeah, the financial system can't work the way it's been working. And uh, we've thought of a plan, and it's going to affect me mm. pretty much the entire planet basically, but it's going to be good for some, not so good for others. Well, box A, how's it going to be for box A? I'm in box A. You're going to get hit the hardest. Yeah, because you know that thing you call the, you know, box A's got that thing called the constitution. Yeah. You see, that's in our way. What do you mean? What does that have to do with finances? Yeah, see, the thing is, is that the constitution is what gives box A its power and not power, but its breath. It's freedoms, it's um, ego, strength. There aren't any boxes that, that, that have it, meaning none. Yeah, and you, and you know the founding fathers, you know those, those heroes that did that? Yeah, no, we, we can't have them anymore. No, nah, because that, that, under, that underpins and supports that thing you call your constitution, you know? And yeah, the financial markets, or better said, what I created and what I do for a living at a level that you've never seen. Yeah, what we need to do is we need to basically lower box A to here and then bring box B to here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, equality. You know what's interesting, though, is, is that person's going to say to box A, what? Can you imagine that conversation? I mean, can you imagine that on the news, trying to blast that out? How does that even happen? They don't even try. That's where the story takes a turn and gets really, really sad because, remember, we're talking about this, and they are painful, very, very painful. You see, because what we have is, in the government is excess and waste. Box A and box B. And again, this isn't just overnight. This is over very, very, very lengthy periods of time. 1970 was a nine millimeter shot at an aircraft carrier. So in the 80s, what did we do? 
we said we will annihilate our manufacturing in box A, and we're going to give it to box B, C, D, and E. All you have to do is support us. Box B, C, D, and E. No problem. No problem. What are the unintended consequences of that, and how does that get done? Here. But why was that decision made? Here. Why? To support the medium of exchange. That level. That is the goal, to keep the people confident in the medium of exchange. No person would ever give up box A or box B. Not on your life. But the problem is, is it's not a straight arrow, so government gets involved. And the unintended consequences for you and I are disastrous. As box A has been living it up for 30 to 40, 50 years, and everyone else is in, well, not so good. Well, what have we been doing? Building something very, very specific. Just in case box B, C, D, or E, or anyone else comes at us and threatens those who live in box A, it's reached a point. Conspiracy theories are things that are fabricated and made up. And then this and that and corner and that and that. How about this? What would you say if this meeting actually took place? Because I think it Box A says something to box B. And maybe it's not even box B, maybe it's actually D. Because D has enough power to make a serious problem. And box A says, do you have any idea who you are fucking with? Well, yes. No, I don't think you do. And box D is pissed, had enough. Box A picks up the phone and says, I warned you, I fucking warned you and now you are going to see who and what I really am. Now remember, you have to understand that we're dealing with the planet's financial system. You have to wrap your head around the financial system not working. And I mean, it's over, Stone Age, it's over. On a global level, I understand it to the level of box A and box B. But I need you to really understand that because if you don't, what I'm about to say is not, it's not going to go over well, okay? It's just not, all right? Life as we know it, and you've seen some of my videos, it's just not warm and fluffy. And, and there's a lot of stuff that happens right across the street from your house. I mean, it, it just, I don't know how else to say it. One of the tragedies of the financial system that box A, B, and the other boxes built, unintended consequences of what they built. They have so far reaching, like, like for example, box A and box B are talking and there's a problem inside of box B. Box B, if they don't fix it and if they need box A's help or vice versa, you'll, you know, this is something that is all over, you know, house of cards, whatever, okay? Confidence, you do not want that. And, and, and that's why I despise that man so much. Fucking Peter, <laughs> okay? The unintended consequences that, that happen at this level are bad. But what creates the actions of the decisions that are made as this decision to the people is made as it relates to 50 years, 50, 100, the future of, of the planet, the globe, everything, when you combine this group and this group, this group does not know who box A and B are. 
they do not know. And when the decisions are made and it comes down, the unintended consequences of the decisions that are made at that level without the interpretation and or the guidance that, that they're given based on these decisions are made worse. And because they don't communicate and can communicate, it's bad. And I mean really bad. What makes it even worse is that this group deals with making decisions every two, four, eight, ten years. This group is making decisions 50, 50, 100. They can't sit down at the table and talk to each other. And they don't. The unintended consequences as a result of that are catastrophic for us. If someone asked me, did this meeting take place? I would say yes. They would ask, do you understand where this is going? And if I had enough information, I would say, yes, I do. Do you understand our options? And I would say, yes, I do. Tell me what's at stake, Marty. And I would say, box A, period. And the person would nod and say, yep. And much more than that, right? And I would say, and much, much, much more. These are our options. I look at the options and I say, they are all horrific. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you out of your fucking mind? And they say, no, prove it to me. Sit down. And I sit down and I exhaust myself. All my questions, everything. Everyone's exhausted everything. So I'm sitting in the room and I say, oh, dear God. What's the purpose here? Basically, we've been threatened by someone uh, in box D that someone needs to be taught a lesson and we don't have very many options. This is on a global scale because, well, as a result of box A and B and C, D and E and everyone else who's at that level, uh, they need to create layers underneath them that are like this, which have unintended consequences. That's why we have all of these layers as the planet, all the boxes, become one. No conspiracy, no Illuminati, no fucking shit. Just simple unintended consequences. Yeah, sure, there are power people, there's this or that. But come on, Bill Gates is a businessman who's one of the richest men in the world. Can you blame him for wanting to protect it? Because he's sitting in the same boat as we all are. Where do we need to be in 50, 100 years? Box A, ha box a has unique characteristics that no other box has. And at one time, it was so important and it drove all the boxes. But guess what? Box A blew it. They blew it. Where? Somewhere in there. Am I mad? No, nah. not mad. Not mad. Because the real problem is the fact that box A and B don't talk to that. There's no open communication. Just the way it is. You mad? No. Nah. You agree with it? I wish it were different. I wish it wasn't that way. Because the unintended consequences as they come from one and the other and mesh together, they just really make life hard. In that meeting, someone says, our best option is that one. And I look at it and I say, are you fucking out of your mind? Has the decision already been made? Pretty much. Do you know what that option is? Where were you when you were watching it on TV? Where were you? You know what I can't believe? I just can't. Is how 
is a decision is a decision like that made in there and they make that decision for the financial markets in planet earth and for everyone else all the boxes and the decision is made because if the decision isn't made it's the end and i mean it's the end go google Venice Beach in California and watch it today because when certain decisions are made that is reality I don't know why well I do know why I'm just telling you because I'm trying to be sensitive I get it I get it could I make a decision like that no I, 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 no I couldn't would you like I would, and I would. Would you give up your life for people you don't even know, especially those that you do? Those decisions are made as a result of the unintended consequences of box A and box B and the financial markets and this and the unintended consequences as it relates to the global financial system and the goals of box A, box B, and this, and this, for you and I. And it's the lack of communication between this and this and those unintended consequences that destroy lives. We take a look at the financial disaster that happened in 2008. And guess what? Here we are again. Not to the original thing I said between box A and box B. But just a few in history before. Because guess what? That was global and everybody was in it so no one could say, fuck you. So box A, B, C, D, and E and everybody all in the same camp. The problem happened at this level with regards to box A's inside of box A's who said, I don't want to play along, F you, because even they are not in there. Close, but no cigar. For the financial system to work and for you, not me, for you to believe that the people and the medium of exchange is at this level. So this level, lack of communication, can stay hidden because you can't handle it. I can't. You can't. That's not putting you down. It's just, I get it, and I'm okay with it. If you knew the truth, maybe you would be. Maybe if you knew what I knew that I'm skirting around, maybe you would. I doubt it. I doubt you would say, no, have at it. Do your thing. Just try to control the unintended consequences, man. Come on. Come on, people. Just fucking, come on, stop. Please. Have more communication. Have a better plan. And then go and do your thing, and I'm going to go do mine. No, they can't do that because you're going to come back and say, oh, you're trying to control me. You're this, you're that, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that, la, 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 la. 2008 comes and goes. Everybody's still talking because it's not ending. Not ending. From box A, box B starts to make decisions. Again, with unintended consequences, with a result, with, with, the action of how do we find the individuals that are not like Marty? How do we differentiate all of those? And then how do we slice them and dice them? How do we know who and what they are? Facebook, Google, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all of them. This is zero. Oh, let's call that 10. And that's 15. On that graph right there, how good is facial recognition? How good is tracking an individual, tracking a country, a state, a group, your buying, what you do, go here, go there, go there. Go. How good? What? You're going to say like that maybe? And stop? No. 
It's there. Trust me. It's there and beyond. Are you okay with it that way? I'm okay with it. What do I give a shit? Really, no, really, what do I care? Do what you're gonna do. I live my life, I do my thing, I don't give a fuck. Everyone thinks it's to control. It's to reduce the level of unintended consequences as a result of this system by these individuals who don't know and aren't told. Conspiracy theories, Illuminati control, blah, 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 blah. You ever seen that movie, uh, K-19? Submarine, nuclear sub? They nicknamed it the Widowmaker. Amazing movie. I mean, I mean, if you haven't seen it, it is fucking the shit. Do you know why? Because I love watching the honor and respect because I would be in the first front of the fucking line going in and fixing that nuclear reactor. You ever seen the movie Chernobyl? Where do I sign up? Are you fucking kidding me? Where do I sign up? Wouldn't even think twice. Would you? Would you? I'm capable of understanding these hard decisions, what's happening up there. That the price of freedom and the price of is loss of life. Now, where it gets really, really freaking sticky, really sticky, is when you look in here and see some of the things that have happened. I'm not going to mention anything. That's where it's like, no, 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 come on. Mm -mm. This isn't right. And again, why is that? Because this isn't talking to this. COVID-19 is, well, let's just say there are a lot of things and a lot of decisions that are made. And if you really listen carefully, the path was, yeah, it might work. Oh, shit, what'd it do? I didn't know I was going to do that. Why is this doing that? Oh, fuck, now we're here. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do, do that. Boom. Okay, we're good. No, boom. What fuck are you doing? Boom. And then people start getting awards and Emmys and writing books. And then power starts to fill people's heads. Fuck. What the fuck is going on? There's no communication. When you pick up the phone, it can't happen. Because you undermine democracy. <laughs> what this side doesn't realize is that they control democracy. Because box A creates the medium of exchange. So it doesn't matter what laws you make. The medium of exchange controls everything. You okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with it. I almost lost everything a year ago because of this. It's just the way it is. I'm not gonna change it. Would you like to hear something very cool? Okay. I had a discussion with my mother and I told her, I said, did you see on the media when they said uh, the, uh, the Republican Party is the uh, party of Lincoln? She said, yeah, it's a good movie. I'm like, mm, Mom, maybe not. So I told her what was gonna happen. It's happening. Would you like to know? Okay. Do I agree with it? <sighs> Yes, it's what needs to happen. It's just sad that it's 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 just sad that it's come this far and there couldn't have been more communication and, and it couldn't have been dealt with 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. It, I'm telling you, just being honest. This is what's gonna happen. The miniseries is is basically going to um say that uh President Lincoln uh did make very tough decisions with regards to slavery. And he did draw some lines and he did uh, create uh, a better life uh, for the 
at that time, the, the, the slaves, w whatever, the buying and selling, human trafficking, okay? Um, but what they are going, what the movie is going to do is it is going to present the view that neither party believed in slavery or human trafficking, but it was the Republican Party, based on financial greed, basically, add financial, whatever you want to do, okay, believed in the equality of non-white skin, that it would always be just ratcheted down. And that is the belief system of the Republican Party. And as a result of that, there will be an attack to remove the Lincoln Monument because of it. Do I agree with that? No, I don't. It's an unintended consequence of this, not being able to communicate with this and what's going on globally at this level. If box B sits in front of box A and says, my people that live in my box, fuck you box A, it's real. And if they have the power to destroy you in one day with an annihilation of trust, and they know that their own lives are on the line, like the power of the death row inmate, the jail, the, 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 the cop, the, the guard, no power. It's things like this that are so sad to me. But what does that monument represent? Freedom, the United States, the Constitution of the United States. The value of the medium of exchange has built and substantiated, created by Box A on a world stage and lifted it to the moon while so many others are down here. So many unintended consequences have happened that this level has had to pause and wait 10 years, wait 15 years, wait 20 years. What if Box B doesn't want to wait anymore? What if there's things going on in here that are forcing Box B to say no more? What if there are things happening outside, unintended consequences, outside of box A, and box A is, it, is in its own trap, and it's actually box A sitting in front of box B and saying, the fuck are we going to do? Box B still says, you're my bitch. What is the first thing? to get security clearance in any form at this level. What do they do? Check your credit. Then they run a drug test on you. Simple. Human nature, simple is as simple does. That's it. Every single time espionage has happened, it's either been, nah, pretty much, money. Like there's only one time in recent history where the person who gave it all up, I think we know who I'm talking about. When you watch the news and the media and everything that's going on, and you see the up and the down and the up and the down and the, kind of the this, that, that, you think if they're controlling you, that's what you think. It's, they want to, uh, power, uh. 
No, that's not what it is at all. It's lack of communication, unintended consequences between. It looks like that. Now, am I sad, loss of life in it? Yeah, it's, it's sad. It's, it's very, very sad. It is. It's such a bummer. You know, just tell the truth. But it, it, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. And, and anybody who's been affected by this, loss of life or anything, I mean, it's, it's sad. It, it truly, truly is. But yes, the, 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 uh, that's what it will happen. Um, and uh, to break a box, you have to cut it into pieces. The more pieces you cut it into, the more you can control it. That's what's happening to box A. I have to be careful what I say. Just being honest, okay? Um, I am... I am tickled... And that's the wrong word because it's not really tickled. I am tickled to death that the news media... Um, because when I first heard it and then I started to hear it more and more, I, I knew. And it, it, it um, <laughs> uh, they, they were talking about like a, a pandemic. I mean, they've been talking about it for years. They have. And then Bill Gates got in this, I mean, they shit all over that guy. And, and to think that, that, that some of these, they um, want to take over the world and, and do, oh, <laughs> Do the conspiracy theorists not realize that what they are doing actually fractures the box more? When the conspiracy theorists talk about control and power, okay, wait for this, all right. What is the most catastrophic event on U.S. soil in the last 100 years? It is not what you're thinking. It's not. Trust me. Oklahoma is. Do you know what happened when Black Lives Matter and Antifa and QAnon? <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> Basically, what they did is, remember the system here? Okay. Three key words can now be put into a massive database and filter everybody and everything. And then they can rate you as it relates to your involvement. Then they can rate you based on all your other social media if you are a threat. Like Oklahoma. <laughs> brilliant. I mean, brilliant. What level? is that at right in here because that threat actually can and does have something to do with all of that the 1.9 trillion dollars can you please tell me where it's going to go now i know you think yeah well it's going to go Pay for that, pay for that. No. The $1.9 trillion is going to go into the banking industry. It's going to go in the financial markets. And that $1.9 trillion, oh, on top of the, remember, all of the relief bills that are going on? That $1.9 trillion is going to grow. Ah, three, four, two, four, five, probably. 
eight to ten trillion. Because mm -hmm. that's the banking system. That's how it works. COVID nineteen is about financial markets. Do you agree with it, Marty? I'm sorry for the loss of lives, the unintended consequences, all of it. I am. I am. That's why they said don't wear masks in the beginning. That's why it was like this. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What? You think the banks are going to come out in public and say, hey, at this level, hey, we, we need money more again? Remember, it's all tied together. How come in the news media they're not talking about debt anymore? It doesn't even exist. When's the last time you heard anything about debt? Can you imagine a financial system where there was no debt, where debt didn't exist. Now that's a pretty big thing I just said, okay? So just hold that, all right? Can you please tell me, do you find it odd that cryptocurrencies were, were allowed to flourish then come I mean, come on you, 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 you cannot think that that level did not create it and know what was going on I mean please tell me <laughs> I don't even know, I'm speechless. I mean, seriously, speechless. What would make anyone think that box A or B or DCE and all the way to Z would ever relinquish the creation of medium of exchanges, the most powerful thing on earth, to this? Am I okay with it? Yeah, I'm okay, I don't care. I don't just, I don't care, I don't give a shit. No dog in the fight. I, I have better things to do. I just want to live my life and fucking die after my mom. That's it. Do something great while I'm here. Not worry about all this fucking shit. Are you kidding me? Fucking have it. Then when it's time, they step in and show who's boss. Who? This group, not them. They use that group. What is it about the medium of exchange in box A, the one you use every day? What is it? It matters so much. Touch it, feel it. Oh my God. You ever used Bitcoin? You ever used a cryptocurrency? You ever lost any? Could you get it back? Amazing how box D and E are potentially already using cashless, whatever. And it was cool in the beginning of like last year, you know, like I'm not sure where it was, but like there's no change. Can you just use a card? COVID money. Use the card. There was a test to see if it would work and how it would work. It was a test. Does box A control the path of the entire world as it relates to slowing it down? Can they tell box A's people the truth? No. Why? Because box A and all of this is the land of the individual. The Kardashian. We don't do anything anymore except create.
and consume. What do we create? I find it incredible that medical science and or the people pick have followed so well. I marveled at the amount of following that was done. And you know what's interesting is the whole time I, I'm like, I know exactly what they're doing. Why? And what needs to happen first? The United States and the U.S. Constitution and the belief systems over the last 100 years are standing in the way of economic efficiencies and a global standard of living that only basically the United States was able to relish in over the last 100 years. At some point in time, because of unintended consequences, somebody woke the fuck up and said, this isn't right. Do I think that it's a little bit of power? Y yeah, yeah, it, it, that's fucking it up, for sure, for sure. But for the most part, the United States sets the standard for the most amount of debt in the history of planet Earth as it relates to, as it relates to what it spends and makes and consumes. Has it been increasing over the last 15 years? And has someone made a decision? It's difficult for me to say because the unintended consequences, some of them were just so painful. I, 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 I don't understand why it seems there's so much pain with some of the decisions that are being made. The current financial system is out in the open. It's paper, it, it, it is a living and breathing thing, but the digital is not, it's not. What if the difference between the current financial system and crypto, they can transform it into whatever they want? It's a cliff. And the debt goes into the abyss because the new financial system with more equality of everybody and more efficiencies. How efficient is Amazon, the internet, social media? You see it as global control because you're here and you're listening and this is where you live. But what's going on up here where what matters? That. How can B, T, C equal 50,000 US dollars? If you didn't know that, it, it's real. If you had one Bitcoin, you would have 50,000 US dollars. Do you know what makes Bitcoin fucking bullshit? It's because you can't pay your taxes with it to the US Treasury. Do you know why it's at 50,000? Would you like to know the truth? Uh, Bitcoin is at 50,000 
because this group here wants to <laughs> substantiate the value of it and they're buying it and they're buying it all. And then they're just gonna one day say, you can only pay with this digital currency. And that will be worth nothing. Enjoy the ride. For you to give up your dollar and for the rest of the world to give it up, the United States of America must break. And it starts with the US Constitution. It starts with dividing. And everyone's heard the term dividing and conquer. How is your life now? Is it nice? Pretty prosperous, right? If you checked it back just a little bit, think you'd notice the difference? I'm not talking about one percenters and all that. I'm not talking about people like that. I'm just talking about your life. Just, you didn't have four cars. You had three or two or one. You didn't work as hard. You saw your family more. You lived happier, less stress, more efficient. Would you give some of the stress and everything to be happier in life? Enjoy your kids more, everything? If you went on the other side of the country and you said, hey, well, what would you do if you had this or that? The United States of America is the home of the entrepreneur. Freedom. Create any life you want. And it sits on top of the United States Constitution and the reserve currency of planet Earth. And the strength of that Constitution and the strength of your life and the strength of your prosperity is sitting on the demand of planet Earth for the U.S. dollar. Can I ask you, how do you think other people feel about that? How would you feel about that? You know, there's a lot going on here, a lot going on there. Look at the past four years. Look at the look, look right now. It's interesting how you could think everything I'm saying is whacked. The reason why is because you and your thoughts live here. Mine do. They live there. And I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm not. Amazon is an inflation fighter. It controls prices. It's efficient. It was built and designed to do exactly what it's doing at the highest levels on planet Earth. Amazon was not built by one man. Oh my God. That's like saying um, that Top Gun wasn't financed by the U.S. Navy and the Air Force. What, you want me to say something? Okay. It's a very well-known fact to some, to me, that there are financial instruments that are funded by to finance movies like Top Gun, to promote the Navy, promote the Air Force. Conspiracy theory? Whatever. No. I don't believe in any of those conspiracy theories. I call it like it is, and I call it simple, and I just make a decision. This is what it is. This is why. And you know what? 90% of the time, I'm pretty damn fucking close. I brought up the Lincoln movie. Let's see how right I am. Now, is that like, geez, could anybody have thought about that? Yeah, probably. Is it that outland, you know? Probably not. But what is interesting is this. We, as people living here, are going to witness the annihilation, the breaking of the U.S. Constitution and the founding individuals who we elevated to statue status so that we can break the financial system without destroying lives and putting everybody on Venice Beach so that
30 to 50 years from now, when I'm, well, I'm 50, 80, yeah, I might be dead. But yeah, I have to live the next 20, 30 years in this environment until they can finish the job. Am I willing to go through that? Because I have a pretty good idea of where they're going. My answer is yes, I am. The only thing that, that I would ask is, come on people, can you communicate and just give a little bit more so that you can reduce the unintended consequences because they're really fucking a lot of lives up and they don't deserve that bad. Have some compassion. Have some for those who live down the hill outside the fucking castle. I'm one of them. I'll play along. I believe in, I believe in the path. I understand. But come on, man. If I missed anything, I might have. I was all over the place. It's a long enough video already. But I think I said everything. Enjoy the comments. This is Marty. We'll see you in the next video.